Hello again, I'm Jennifer from East Coast Therapy. I want to talk to you about how to change memories. And remember, this memory, it's not happening right now. You are reliving a scene from the past that has gone into your head. Your subconscious is using it to trigger your response to some current situation. So you're actually living in the past when you're in a memory. And your subconscious thinks it's doing its best for you because it's actually saying, OK, this happened in the past. It was successful your outcome, you reacted in a certain way, you did well, so you're going to keep doing that every time this similar situation occurs. So you trigger this memory in your head and you react in a certain way. Lightning speed, it's going to save you from whatever danger you perceive is there. Except that most of the time it's very destructive for you and you create these patterns of very negative behaviour because you're only trying to protect yourself. And this doesn't work as an adult, mostly you want to thrive and evolve. You want to move past just purely protecting yourself from perceived threats that are really no longer there. You need to find the memory. Once you've tapped out emotions, a memory will usually come up because this is always at the base of your emotional response to situations. So what is the memory? Say if we take a memory of, it could be something recent, like a, a very traumatic accident. It will be triggering feelings of maybe anger and helplessness and fear and all these things. And they will all be patterns from your past, but the actual, the traumatic event could be quite a recent thing. So we'll take it as a car accident that somebody has crashed into you and you feel, you, you look at this memory, it comes up and you're reliving it. You're right in the car, you can see the person coming towards you in slow motion and boom, smash, everything goes haywire. And you think of this and you go, I can't ever drive again. And this is your subconscious's way of protecting you. Look at the memory. Now, remember, it's only like a movie. It, you're not being crashed into right now. It just feels like you are. So you are the movie maker, you are the director of the movie that's running in your head right now. If it's too traumatic to look at, what you can do, there's a number of techniques. You can push it away in your head and imagine that you've stepped out of it. And now you're, say, sitting in the cinema and you're watching it and you've got the remote control where you can press fast forward and rewind and stop. You can freeze it. You can turn it into black and white. Anything that makes it less traumatic for you to deal with it right now. Just try this. And watch what happens. So if it's moving, just make it still. Even put a frame around it. Push it away. Step back from it. So that you're not in it, but you can see what's happening. And notice how that feels, if it's lessened the trauma of it. So what you do next is, you can change anything. It's all fantasy. It's in your head. You're not actually, it's not happening to you right now. You're just imagining you're reliving it. You can change anything. And why would you want to keep a traumatic movie that's running in your head? You may as well make it nice. So the first thing to do is just let it run. And anywhere that you notice that it's feeling bad, tap out the feelings. Whatever it is, I feel really terrified. Tapping out the terror and peace. Go through that. If still feeling terrified, notice the little bit that's left. I'm letting go of this small amount remaining. Tap it out until you're feeling good. Next thing you feel maybe helpless, tapping that out. I feel angry. How dare he crash into me? Let that go. I feel stupid. Why wasn't I aware? Let that go. And remember to be compassionate with yourself because your subconscious is doing its best for you. And it gives you these bad feelings so that you won't get into danger the next time. So rather than feeling stupid about the feelings that come up, just know that they're for your best interest and let them go. Just feel that compassion and let it go and peace. So now looking at the memory again, when you've cleared the emotional attachment to it, it just becomes a movie that you're, you can just watch like you're watching it on the television or something. And now you can rerun through it and change the parts that you don't like. So who wants to remember that they had a car accident? Logically, you can remember it afterwards, but the actual, the subconscious, when it brings up that, you want to feel good about it rather than this horrible feeling. So watching the movie, what do you want to change in it? Maybe instead of that crash that you had, what you can do is maybe put a little funny hat on the person in the car and immediately you're laughing at what you see coming towards you. It's this man with a little bowl of fruit on his head and it changes it immediately. Or you can sit into his car and watch from his side what happens. That will change perspective as well and, and changes the feelings you have about this, this 
um, accident. So go through everything because it's all you. It's it's in your head. So you've created everything in the in the movie. So it's all you. So you can change it into whatever way. You can bring in orange elephants or pink giraffes or whatever you want until it's something that you're happy with. That when you watch it, it makes you laugh or it makes you feel good. And then when it makes you feel good, notice the feelings inside you and make them stronger. So where do you feel it? Is it in your heart that you're feeling good about this? And just like you can tap out bad feelings, your subconscious always wants you feeling good. It wants to, to do the best for you. So you can tap in good feelings. So just to really solidify them, you're tapping in these good feelings. I feel really good and happy. I'm such a success in my life. Whatever it is, I feel so grateful and happy and peace. And just go around until these feelings are really strong and watch the movie over and over until you just click your fingers and bring up this scene and it feels great. And no longer can you, even though you know logically you had an accident, you now have an emotional attachment that's a good feeling towards this that happened to you and it no longer is a bad thing. So when somebody says, oh, I hear you have a car, had a car accident, immediately you have this good feeling and you see the man with the bowl of fruit on his head. And that's what we all want. You can go and clear any memories that you have in there because they're not happening now. You are the controller of your head. You may as well love what you have in there. So go get cracking with your new video skills and I'll talk to you soon again. This is Jennifer from East Coast Therapy and I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye.